So you have a tighter abortion ban in Florida. You have a key push for Republicans nationwide. Sign late at night, little fanfare. A short tweet from Ron DeSantis on this, unlike the 15-week abortion ban that we saw before. And of course, Democrats are ready to pounce. Where do Americans actually stand on this? It can be complicated. So let's bring in Mallory Newell tonight, Vice President of Public Polling at Ipsos. Valerie, this morning I asked the team, can we have on Mallory? Because this is, you know, it's it's such a hot issue and it's so complicated. So where does the average American fall on abortion limits? At at what week, at what trimester do they think that, you know, anything is, is possible or appropriate? Thanks for having me on, Chance. Happy to be here and talk about all of this. Um, in short, you know, Americans don't necessarily think about this in terms of weeks or trimesters, but what we do know is that most Americans are clearly opposed to state level attempts to limit access to abortion pills. And in fact, a majority are also opposed to a six week ban, which it, as you mentioned, is what Governor DeSantis just did. How does that six week cutoff stand? Because for instance, this one in Florida, it's a hard cutoff, except in instances of rape, incest, medical danger, I believe. How popular is that? The short answer, it's not very popular. A majority of Americans are opposed. Uh, Republicans are pretty split, but if you look at Republican women, they're actually opposed as well. So this isn't just a, an issue that Democrats are driving here. It's pretty unpopular across the board when you look at Democrats, independents, and some Republicans. So who's it popular with, I guess, Republican men? Pretty much, yeah. And and I think what we're seeing is, you know, many Republicans think that this could be a good issue for them, but our polling says otherwise in the sense that these state-level attempts to limit or restrict access to abortion pills for very early abortion cutoffs, they're just not popular with the majority of Americans. I think the myth of Princeton thing, if I remember, um, was something like 44% of Republicans supported that push to, to overturn the FDA prior approval, according to an Ipsos poll. I think it was back in, in February, if I remember the research. Now, Republicans have been promising to tighten abortion laws for decades in this country. I mean, that has been a central plank, and now they have power in some places. Electorally, is it helping them? I think that's that's the question of the hour, right? We're a long ways off from 2024. So, you know, things might look very different than they will right before the election. But what I can say now is that three in five Americans are opposed to this effort to ban abortion pills, right? The, the latest fight that we're talking about here. And in fact, you know, this endeavor is poised to be just as unpopular, if not more, than the Dobbs decision. And we know that in 2022, the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, the Dobbs decision, you know, really fueled Democratic turnout. And so I have to wonder if this is going to have similar effects in 2024. Okay, so Mallory, let's end this on really clear grounds, though, because you said that people don't think of this in terms of weeks or trimesters. That has been tested in the past, and, and I seem to remember a 15-week cutoff or so, the first trimester, was the most popular, and most Americans do think that some cutoff is in order. Are Americans amenable to a middle ground, let's say a 15- or 20-week ban? Senator Tim Scott, who's entering the GOP race, said he'd be good with that. You know, you have Lindsey Graham saying that. Would that be an electoral winner? You know, polling for years, pre-Dobbs and now post-Dobbs decision, has shown that Americans don't really think of abortion in terms of black and white. They're willing to consider some limits, um, whether that's, you know, in cases of rape or incest, whether that's a certain week cutoff. And I think what the Supreme Court did last year is take this issue with many shades of gray and turn it into a mm -hmm. black or white issue. So but while no. Americans continue to... Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't support fall off a cliff when you get into the second trimester? At least I thought that's what the polling in the past said. Yeah, the the later you go, the more support drops, right? Okay. But what we know is that what what Republicans in many states are pushing right now, these more severe limits or restrictions on abortion are not popular with the American public. I see. 
I see. And they are hurtling ahead in, in many states at this moment. Mallory Newell with Ipsos Polling, thank you once again. Thank you, Chance.